Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at Studio Plugins, which is a plugin that is currently exclusive to After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro, but they will add products for other programs soon. They were really kind to sponsor today's video, but I have actually been using Studio Plugins for a while now. More than a year, actually. And I think that Studio Plugins is a great product, regardless of the fact that this is a sponsored video. Now, let's dive in and see what this library has to offer. So, what is Studio Plugins? Or Studio App, like my friend and I like to call it. In simple terms, Studio Plugins gives you access to a huge library of transitions, text animations, graphics and text effects, color presets, and even sound effects for both Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Basically, everything you need to make your video pop. The great thing is that Studio Plugins gives you access to a lot of the transitions and effects using their free plan. Of course, if you want to get access to everything, you're going to need the premium subscription, which, if you do the math, the yearly plan will come down to a little above $5 a month. It's really affordable in my opinion, but there's always the limited free plan. Or maybe it's time to cancel that Netflix subscription like everyone else, you know? Anyways, jokes aside, to install Studio Plugins, all you need to do is jump to studioplugins.net, sign up, and download their application. As I mentioned before, you have the choice between free subscription or premium subscription. The free version will have fewer presets, but you'll get monthly updates as well. The Studio app works on both Mac and Windows, so pick the one with the appropriate operating system for you and install it. Once you have the app installed, you can choose which preset pack you want to add. There are two sections, one for Premiere Pro and one for After Effects. And the great thing about all these presets is the fact that you don't even have to import anything to After Effects nor Premiere Pro manually. Everything is automatically handled through the plugin's UI. However, one thing that I don't really like about the desktop manager is the fact that I can't install multiple presets at once. Instead, I have to tediously install them one by one. To access the plugin in After Effects, you can go to the window menu, extensions, then look for AE Studio and select it. A new panel will pop up. You can tug it next to your other After Effects panels. And in Premiere Pro, it's basically the same thing. You just choose Premiere Studio instead of AE Studio in the extensions menu. From the AE Studio panel, you can see an overview of everything that is available. You can browse through all the presets you installed with everything divided and organized into different folders. Another great thing about Studio Plugins is that you can get instant previews of all the presets and sound effects right from the plugin window, which is really helpful to decide which one you want to use and remove all the guesswork that might come with using some of the default plugins in Premiere Pro or After Effects. For instance, under the transition category, you get multiple transition variations like wrap, zoom, stretch, fade, spin, and much, much more. There are literally hundreds of different transitions that you can choose from. One of my personal favorites is the glitch transitions. You know, just looks good and professional. But wait, there's more. Under each transition, there are also multiple variations, which I think is just awesome. So the way you use these transitions or any presets on your project is by moving the playhead to where you want the transition to be and pressing resize on the studio plugins panel to match the presets resolution to your timeline. You can choose whether you want to include sounds as well. Tick this off if you don't want to add sounds though. Now all you need to do is hit add and that's it. That's the beauty of using something like this tool. You don't have to think too much about every effect and transition. You just see something you like and you apply it. Easy as pie. A lot of new content is being added constantly to the library. And as we mentioned before, Studio Plugins works on both Premiere Pro and After Effects. 
For example, the new color presets include a lot of categories under that and multiple styles to choose from, like fashion, Hollywood color presets, vintage, black and white, and my personal favorite, cinematic. When you add a color preset, it's going to be applied to your timeline as an adjustment layer. This way, you can control it exactly like you do with any normal adjustment layer. For example, if you want to decrease the effect, you can just decrease the layer's opacity. There's also a huge library of text animations that you can easily customize through the Essential Graphics window, as well as a ton of title graphics that look really good. They can all be easily customized and offer a lot of styles that you can choose from. Last but not least, there's also audio effects that you can preview right through the plugins window. So when you add a sound clip, it's going to be added like any other sound clip, so you can easily edit it through essential audio. Now that we know what Studio Plugins is and what it offers, let's apply some of the presets to a real scenario. Let's drop some presets on an example video to show you how easy it is to incorporate some of the titles, animations, the graphics, sound effects, and transitions into your own projects. Alright, so here's a list of the most anticipated animes in 2023, but we need to spice things up. First, let's start with this shape spinning shapes background graphic. We're going to adjust the color. Next up, let's add some text. Again, there are a ton of titles to choose from here, but I'm going to use this big title because, well, it's big. And also, it has this flickering animation that I really like. For the transitions, you have a lot of categories, but I'm going to use one of the spinny ones because I feel like it's going to match the spinning background graphics nicely. So I'm going to open the transition and expand the spin folder and pick this spin bounce transition. And that's it. Ta-da! As you can see, the process is as simple as that. Just put your cursor where you want the transition or title to be and hit add. There really isn't much to it. I added this lower third to include the title of the show and I also added some of the color presets at the end because why not? And we're done. This is the final result. So if you like what you see here and you want to check out Studio Plugins, you can follow the link right under the like button. And that's it for our video today. We kind of gave you a glimpse into our editing process, so we really hope you like it. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. As always, if you have any suggestions at all, please drop them as well. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.